not too difficult. There's a new type of derivative problem we might have. So let's have a look here. <coughs> Suppose I ask you, what is the derivative of x squared? What would that be? 2x. So if I say, uh, if I use a choose notation he was showing me earlier, the derivative of x squared is 2x. Yep. Now suppose I have y squared. What's the derivative of y squared, do you think? Well, you kind of see what I'm going to say, because what's the point in having a lesson if the answer was what you thought it was? What do you think the answer might be? Y. You might think it's 2y, but of course it's not. not. It's not this. Of course not. That's why we have the lesson. <laughs> So why is this not the case? Let's have a look at a, a simple example to see. Okay, so let me say, suppose y equals, let's say, x squared. And dy dx, that's equal to 2x. So in other words, the derivative of 2x, uh, sorry, of x squared equals 2x. And you're, everybody, of course, is happy with that. Now, what is y squared equal to? That's equal to x4. Yeah? So what's the derivative here of y squared? Well, that's the derivative of x4. What's the derivative of x4? Uh, 4 x cubed. Earlier, we were wondering if the derivative of y squared would become 2y. If the derivative of y squared was 2y, we should have gotten then 2x squared. If the derivative of y squared was 2y, then instead of getting 4x cubed, we should have got 2x squared. In other words, this is not equal to uh, 2y, because it's not equal to 2x squared. So in other words, it's just proven my point that the derivative of y squared is not 2y. In other words, we need some special rule when we want to differentiate a y term. Now, the rule is actually extremely easy, which is good, but we have to see what that rule is. So let's have a look at the rule. And the rule is very similar to the chain rule, in fact. Can I scroll down? Well, I haven't told you which one's right yet. I've only told you that these are all wrong and it doesn't work. 4x cubed is right. 4x cubed is right, but I want the answer in y. Oh. Yeah, and uh, if the answer was going to be 2y, then I shouldn't have got 4x cubed. I should have got 2x squared. Oh. 2x squared is definitely wrong. 4x cubed is right. Yeah. Okay. Okay, okay, okay. okay. Well, I need to drink some coffee. Can I close the window? Go on, it's okay. Close it. Okay, can, uh, no, I should be looking at you. Continue? Yeah. Right, so here is basically the problem. When I ask you to differentiate a function of y, like y squared, the problem is here. If you remember, I said that this piece here tells me what the variable is. And what is the variable here according to this? It should be x. But what's the variable according to this? Why? It's y. So you have this conflict. This is the cause of the problem. This y needs to be changed into an x, or this dx needs to be changed into a y. So if you had something like this, is it easy to change y into x? Yeah. y is just x squared, and x is just root y. So it's easy to change. But it's not always easy. If I said y equals ex log x, plus root x. Can you change that? No. But what is easier to do is to change dx into dy, and this is how. What you do is you put a dy here and a dy here. What's dy over dy? Y. 1. Because this is being multiplied, you can swap it. So you have dy dx d dy fy. In other words, if you want to differentiate a y, you do. You differentiate it, but multiply the answer by dy dx. That is the rule. 
to differentiate a y function you do that but the extra step is you also must multiply the answer by dy dx let me give you an example if I have y squared the derivative is 2y multiply dy dx if I have y cubed the derivative is 3y squared dy dx so can you see it only has one extra step that's all yeah this so I don't know what I suppose you could call the rule like this if you want to differentiate a function of y then you differentiate it but you must also multiply your answer by dy dx this is called an implicit derivative implicit rule yeah. let's check that this works yeah. can I scroll down How many people have seen this rule before? No? Two? Have you seen it before? You've seen this before? Sean? Have you seen this rule before? Is that yes or no? No, okay. Can I, Monica? Can I continue? Okay. Let's have a look let's test it y equals x squared right mm -hmm. and I want to know what is the derivative of y squared well my rule says it should be 2y dy dx yeah uh, by the way what is y x squared and what is dy dx 2x so what's my answer here which we said was the right answer earlier hmm? earlier when I did this example I said this was right and this was wrong this is the right answer so whatever that power you just moved in what square by dy dx yeah, but it doesn't have to be power could you like imagine you had something like I want the derivative of uh, sine y what would that equal guys here's another example tell me the answer please what's the derivative here of sine y oh come on yeah say again cos what cos what cos what there we go <laughs> times <laughs> Yes, indeed. <laughs> no. So uh, the only difference is um, you are required to multiply the answer by dy dx. So it's not really different. But this technique is very useful for certain type of problems, which I'm going to show you now. Can I um, scroll down? Yeah. Let me give you an example. Suppose I give you this equation, x squared plus y squared equals 25, and I ask you, what is dy dx? Previously, this is what you would have to do. Previously, so I'll just write it like this, the old way would be, first you have to get y, yeah, and then you would have to use the chain rule which would be bring down the power reduce the power by one and then multiply by Six. the inside derivative Six. now that's actually not too bad but suppose I was to change it a little bit suppose I said x squared plus xy plus y cubed oh. equals 25 
Well, now all of a sudden, can you get the Y? No. Yeah, well, if you could, it'd be a lot harder. Uh, sine Y. Now it's pretty much impossible to get the Y. But you can use implicit derivatives. You could implicitly differentiate everything here. So, if I have this example, let's see what would happen. What would sine y become if I differentiate? Cos y. Cos y. dy dx. And what would this become? Uh, now, I'll just make that a y, just to make it a bit easier to begin with. What would that become? 1 dy dx plus 3y equals zero. zero. So you can say cos y plus 1 plus 3y squared dy dx equals minus 2x. Yeah. And now I have my answer in two steps. First, implicit derivative. Second, rearrange to get dy dx. So the implicit derivative is an extremely useful method when the x's and the y's are tied together. In fact, really, it's the only method you can use in these problems. Now, let me give you one to try. I'll give you something like uh, that you might get in the exam. Yeah. Is it? I don't know. Are you being serious, or is it so difficult, or not? I don't think this is too difficult. I don't think this is too difficult. Come on. Did you say thirty or thirteen? <laughs> you think I've been doing this for forty years? <laughs> Forty That's better. Yeah, it's, but still not forty times. So I think I'm quite offended now. He thinks I've been doing this for thirty to forty years. No, no, no. no. <laughs> Deeply offended by this. Uh, okay. Next. Am I fifty years old? I'm <laughs> fifty years old. Okay, now you're being ridiculous now. Uh, okay. Uh, let me give you an exam style question. So, um, let's see. Uh, x squared plus uh, minus 2x plus 1 plus y squared minus 2y plus 1 equals 1. No. One. Twenty-five. Uh, okay. So my question is, find the. Oh, and by the way, this makes some kind of curve. This equation is a curve. Find the equation of the tangent at the point 3, 4. This is an extremely common exam question. I would say I've seen this maybe on 80% of the exams, this type of question. So, do you remember what's the equation of the tangent? y equals mx plus c. How do you find the m for tangent? It's the derivative. And how do you find the c? I have to use the derivative. Yes, use the point. Get the c. You don't know at x equals 0. Oh, no, actually, that's a... Uh, no, you don't, actually. Um, x equals 0 gives you the c for this, not uh, for the line. Oh, we can't have y. And yeah, but that y is not the same y as this one. Because, for example, uh, whatever this curve is, I won't draw that. If you put x is 0, you're finding this, not this. 
Yeah. So to get the C, uh, Jerry, you would have to use this point. And how do you get the M, Jerry? Use derivative. Okay, try this one. Try it. No, no, that's the normal. I don't need you to flip the slope. How are we doing for this one now? We got an answer? Yeah, okay, uh, let's see. Uh, two, tell me what the derivative is here. So what do I have first? Two. Two axes start, yeah? Two, two, quick. I want the derivative of this. So it starts with 2x, yeah? Oh, yeah, and what's then next? Then minus 2. Yeah. Uh, 2 minus 2. Oh! No, I get this one, this one, this one. Hey, come on, focus now. You forgot something. 2y dy dx. Yeah. Minus dy dx equals Zero. Yeah. That's all okay. Guys, Keith, I'm going through the answer. Listen. Did you get this yeah. or not? Yeah. So what would I do next? Oh. <laughs> well, even before that, actually, what should I do? Oh. Guys, what's oh. in common? Oh, let's divide by two. Thank you. Oh. Let's indeed. Two, 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 and two. I'll go. So I get uh, y minus 1, isn't it? Mm -hmm. dy dx equals uh, 1 minus x. Yes. Yeah. So I get that. Yeah? Uh, uh. Do I know the x and the y? Yeah. I do. What's the x? Mm -hmm. And what's the y? So what's that? Minus 2 over 3. three. That's the M. Yeah. Hmm? Yeah. That's the M. Yeah. And lastly, to get the C, I use the point 3, 4. So I get 4 equals minus 2 plus C, so C equals... Isn't that right? Yeah, 6. So I hope you got this answer. Y equals minus 2 over 3X plus 6. <laughs> yes. No, it's not my answer. Did you get that answer, KJ? Yeah. Bruce, what's wrong? Did you not get this? No? <coughs> Let me give you one more, yeah? When when she find derivative on some some case, yeah? yeah. Can you leave it to to um, y minus one and minus one? Oh, can you leave it as x and y? Yeah, that's what they expect. Uh, it's too difficult to... Con no, 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 you would never really convert the y into the x because if you did that, you might as well have just done that at the start and not used implicit derivatives. So there is the expectation that the answer will have x and y in it. Only substitute in if you have number values. Yeah. Uh, okay, let me just give you uh, one more to try. Um, x 
plus xy plus y equals tray find dy dx when x equals 1. Try this one, please. This is another classic exam question. Is it when? This, yeah, means when or given. Correct. Oh, really? Yes. Correct. You're on your way to winning that prize next year. <laughs> <laughs> the GF will be so proud of you. So proud. Actually, I should be careful with these things. Cause I, as far as I know, you could have broken up with her, and this could be heartbreaking. You are still with her, aren't you? You didn't break up, right? Oh, am, am I? Am I? Oh. Oops! I should keep my mouth shut. Is it okay? Oh dang! Now we make video. Oh, oh yeah. Oh dear. Uh, anyways, you don't. You don't need girlfriends. You have maps. That's all you need. Yes, I have Steven. Yes, exactly. Yes. <laughs> yes. Oh, that's me. This. And he figured out. What rule do you need in the middle? You need the product rule because of the x, y. Yes. Yeah. But there's also a small problem towards the end. Mm -hmm. You found the small problem? Mm -hmm. What's the small problem? Uh, it also has one. Well, uh, not quite this. Something else. Yeah, well, what's the problem at the end? I have one. I don't know why. Oh, wow. In yeah. Anywhere. Although I did give you enough information. No. I. You call me a liar. I did give you enough information. You don't have value for one. Now you see. Don't say anything, Sean. Sean gets it. Uh, I don't. <laughs> <laughs> really? Yeah. See, this is the smart side today. Now they're getting it. Oh yeah. Like what? Oh. Do you know what he did? Yeah. What did he do? <laughs> okay, let's have a look. What? Yes. What's the derivative here, Monica? Give me the derivative here. One plus one y plus dy dx plus dy dx equals zero. So you should end up getting dy dx equals minus one minus y over x plus one. Now, it looks like I don't give you enough because I only told you the x, but of course you can use this value in here to find the y. Oh, yes? I didn't know. I thought you knew this. How did you know that? You can do it all. What? This is what you did, Sean? Yes. Yeah. So you get 1 plus y plus y equals 3. Yeah. So therefore, y equals 1. So you actually can work out the x is 1 and the y is 1. So this will be minus 2 over 2. So the I answer is minus 1 then. Yeah. Oh, it's a small one. Small one. Yeah. How do I get what? Uh, the y. Y one. I put what x is one in this. Yeah. And gets y. I know x. So I can find y. Yeah. Yeah. No, uh, you don't use this to get you don't use this to get the y. You use this to get y. You get y here, 
and then you can put that in. Yeah. Yeah. This sorry. This one. Dy dx. Oh, how do you get the one of one Oh, how do I get? Oh, from here. Yeah. I, I did this in my head. What I did was uh, to these two, I took over to the right, and then this and this, I take it out, and then this and this, I divide. I did these steps in my head. I'm sorry. Did that confuse you? It confused uh, you. Now hang on, hang on, hang on, I need to write this down for two here. One plus y plus x dy dx plus dy dx equals zero. So are you happy if I do this two? Take these two to make that. X dy dx dy dx makes this. And then I can bring this. Oh, sorry, that's a Y. Sorry. I can bring that over and then. Uh, no, no. I no? Uh, up, 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 up. Okay. Oh, oh, how do I go from here to here? Uh, yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. Derivative of X? 1. Yeah? Now, XY, what rule did we need for XY? Product rule. You know the product rule? So, first derivative of X, guys, you're distracting me. I'm trying to explain this to you. First, the derivative of X, what's the derivative of X? 1, Y. And then keep the X and derivative of Y? Is okay? Good. Okay. Excuse me, you're distracting me. Now stop packing up, you're distracting me greatly. You're not finished yet, because I want you to try one of these before you go, okay? Because mm -hmm. I can't just not have you try one to make sure you got it. So can you pick at least one out from the workbook, do that, and then you can go. Can I close this too? Yeah. Yeah. No. What, what part do you need? Okay. Do we have in in the No, 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 just derivative. Is this thing and this? Huh? Is this thing and this? What do you mean? Implicit. This is an implicit, implicit differentiation, yeah. No, no, there is no implicit integration, it doesn't exist, okay. unless you invent it. Sometimes hard to tell if my students are trying to make me angry or they just are stupid. <laughs> <laughs> it's difficult to know which it is sometimes. <laughs> <laughs>